Hey, Gun Fox here. I hope you guys like Silver Studs, because that's what we got today. And that is what I will be continuing to put on this channel for a while. While I, I really like playing this team, and I want to take it up a few notches, I do record other footage on my uh, other team for player review purposes. But it looks like today I'm playing a, an elite squad with the Silver Studs. So we'll see how it turns out for us. Hopefully well. It's Triple X with the Bills. The Bills have a tough defense, including maybe the best defensive line, if not up there with Houston or the Jets as a top three. So he's running a little stick route here. I try to cover it with Mays, and we get the coverage sack. He's not able to get it. D Ford actually has been very effective in pass rush for me, and I think it's due to his finesse move and speeds. So right there, I get the uh, double coverage knockout. Um, he's running a little bit of four verts. But I get pressure. So he he punts the ball to me. That's a good first stand on defense. Uh, as we get trended in to try to get to the outside here. Trying to do some juke moves. Um, but, yeah. So I did do the interview yesterday instead of the Mutt Market. I like to do special videos on Mondays. And then, you know, maybe special videos every day. But I can't do them every day. I do gameplay, like, three times a week, I think. Because I know people like seeing gameplay. And... Use a nice little strong close toss, but my blocker wasn't able to get the right spot on the defender, and that is an issue with the silver squad, is those tosses and the defenders not seeing the right, or the blockers not seeing the right defenders to block. Um, and also my uh, offensive line, uh, that may have been a blitz, I may have should have just got it out quicker. That may have not on, been on them. So I go for in 4th and 18 because I'm in regular field position, and oh man, we had it open. I had that quarterback open, but Mallet just missed him. So we turn the ball over on downs. We just need to execute better. If I were the Houston, Texas, and what is it, Bill O'Brien, I would have benched Mallet like he did. Oh, nice move. So he shifted his wide receiver one way and then tossed the other. Smart man. But we had him in the backfield if we would have tackled him there. So Lamar Miller gets a nice run down the sidelines. Slants. He does a little rollout. And I am a little late with the user there. Um... Who was I using? A skew? Yeah, it looked like a skew. Nice counter. Tricked out my defense, but we were able to stop in the background. So, yeah, I'm not bringing you Market Tuesday like I did last week, unfortunately. Um, for no reason in particular. Just didn't get it done. Uh, so we could just talk a little bit about the Market, though. As he scores to go up 7 nothing on me. All right, offense. Bring us back in the game. Um, we've talked about investing money for long-term benefits. Um... Mudhead credits, trading for those is really the safest way to invest. That's kind of like the long-term bond of the Mutt market. Um, that's like a AAA rated bond is MHC. Because that stuff uh, is as good as, you know, Mudhead's gold. It's word, basically. We get a nice shed down the sideline, uh, the screen pass. So, this week I want to talk about, you know, investing in Team of the Week players. Doriel Green Beckham, solid. Gets a nice little stutter to outstep the tackle, and we're down. Inside the red zone, touchdown, D Ford. Woo! And he gets injured right there, unfortunately. So we'll have to deal with that. But we tie it up against the Elite Squad with the Silver Squad. Good play so far, team. Um, you know, Team of the Week, they're in packs for one week. Um, should you invest in them? Those, they're kind of like... Speculative assets. I think they will go up, but the problem with Team of the Week is that... And I got kicked for a network timeout, unfortunately. So now I'm going against uh, Gold Squad here. 81 overall looks like they're high. Um, so that game ended, unfortunately, because I like playing against better teams. I mean, because I will have to know how to beat them as I move up the ranks with this Silver Squad. So... They were released as toppers last year in bundles, Team of the Weeks were. Um, now timing, I don't remember really off the top of my head. I guess I could have looked this up better, but I believe they were released mainly for position heroes late, late in the year. Um, but we didn't have bundles a lot until late in the year in 15. So because position heroes require Team of the Week. Ooh, got to convert that. Got to convert that. Fourth and one. We'll see if he's get it. And we get the nice sack for the turnover. 
Um, but just 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 realize, I mean, you can invest in Team of the Week players because they're out of packs now. Um, the carry is a huge risk. I might look into it, do some more uh, research in the Team of the Week as we get the nice toss for the touchdown, going up seven nothing here. It does carry a huge risk, and the risks are EA induced, just like all investing in the mutt market, because anything can happen. They can put any topper in packs and just ruin our entire scheme and everything we risked um, and drop prices dramatically. So, you guys investing in toppers though? Uh, you know, I, whenever elite badges or silver badges guaranteed, um, decent time to invest and then offload, you know, a week later or a couple days later, uh, four days later when they're out of packs. Damn it. See, that's why you don't play the darn ball. Even when you have perfect position this year, the receiver will snatch out of your hands. That is so frustrating. So frustrating. So never play the ball. That's that, that's something I could tip for you guys while you're watching this. Never, ever, ever play the ball. Pre never press Y. I'm sorry. Never press Y when you're defending as a defensive back. He makes a nice read there up the seam. Um, hit R1. R1 or X. R1 or X. Get it in your head. All right, that's all I'm gonna say about that, um, and I gotta keep it in my head. Even when that was a perfect, in 15, that's an interception. Um, they just had that animation in 16, that it's not. So Sammy Coates running on the sideline. He is so fast, low 90 speed, getting to that divine line. Nice work for the touchdown. It's a nice long one to respond right away. 42 seconds left in the first quarter. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't invest. The toppers, the ones I wouldn't invest in, are legend badges or pieces. They seem to be released weekly, and there's just not enough time for the market to recover. Unlike, you know, the badge market that is so liquid, and so many people are buying badges constantly. Um, so his offense seems to revolve around throwing the ball deep. So we got to play better deep coverage. So what I'm doing is throwing uh, four deep and blitzing everybody and usering up the middle. And we get the nice pick as we jump across the route. Nate Askew. Let me ask you whether you expected that interception. Um, so we get out of bounds there. Um, but what trends are you guys noticing on the market? Anything? Uh, should I hit that corner route? Uh, anything special? Are you guys ripping any bundles to get some coins? So we get Doriel on the corner, C route again. Um, oh, did I forget the? Uh, did I forget the sponsor today? Well, this is kind of late for the sponsor. Uh, I'm not gonna get paid nearly as well as I would have been as three fumbles out of bounds, which is the problem. The sponsor today is Appealing Bananas. Fumbles twice in a row. Oh man, it's like last one. I think that was Lang for that time. I subbed him in purposely for that topic because he tries a low curl on me, purposely to hang on to the ball there. But it's like the fumble went out of bounds, so. We gotta help this guy get the fumble now because he deserved it, really. So he's throwing it deep with Griffin, which is never a good, you know, Griffin's not made for deep passes, I think. I guess I can look up his stats right here. As we get the nice user pick, he kind of throws it right at my user. Uh, as I'm going to Doriel Green Beckham and Griffin. What Griffin? What Griffin do you guys think that is? The 77 overall, probably. Right, yeah, he's only got a gold squad. Do a nice touchdown. Uh, that gold throw deep is 76. Throw meeting of 72. Yeah, you do not want to stay in the pocket with this Griffin. Um, he's been passing mainly from the pocket, which is just a mistake. And I fall in the same trap. Last year I had 4th of July RG3, and I passed a lot from the pocket. I didn't get out. I didn't call the play action and roll out of the pocket. Um, like I've been told to on the channel. And we get another pick up the seams. Flag! Flag! Oh man, I was salty for this flag. But it was offensive pass interference. Have you guys seen offensive pass interference this year yet? Uh, that was my first one and I got it on a user pick. Um, as you go up 28-7. Uh, kicking the extra point here. We'll see how much longer he hangs on for. I don't know. Maybe you guys would looking at how long the video is and the length of it. But yeah, basically we're just kind of grinding out the clock here. RG3, what cards are you guys finding valuable versus um, 
not so well performing for you. I asked it during the interview yesterday. Um, the guy said, uh, you know, Russell Wilson wasn't important for Ultimate Team. And that's where he conceded. All right. Thanks. Let me know in the comments. Talk to you tomorrow.